Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I hope you don't get tired of hearing this. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Early Electric Automobiles 1861 Electric cars might seem like the vehicles of the future, but they were actually a symbol of the past. However, back in the day, they didn't use the infamous lithium batteries, which caused major pollution to the environment. They used sodium ion batteries that are much cleaner option, as they are basically made of salt. Sodium ion batteries offer superior environmental credentials, enhanced safety, and much lower raw material costs than lithium ion that we use today. The Sahara is a recent phenomenon and burial ground for ancient civilizations. We're taught the Sahara Desert is millions of years old, however per usual early maps seem to state otherwise. Somehow cartographers of the 16th and 17th century didn't consult the modern historians for their wisdom of today. Instead, they depicted the Sahara Desert the way it was back then 400 to 450 years ago. And, what a beautiful sight it was lakes, rivers, cities, people, animals, etc. And then, for some apparent reason, mankind suffered some serious case of worldwide amnesia, where the entire continent was wiped and had to be rediscovered. It appears some very powerful event wiped practically the entire African continent just a few hundred years ago. Hundreds of cities and towns were destroyed. Millions if not billions of people could have been killed in the process. Yet we are being fed a bunch of BS about millions of years. Within these red highlighted symbol on the 1635 map, we see Atlas two familiar cities which still exists. There's no real reason to question the past existence of all the other cities marked or towns present, this map is covered with them. Seeing how those imaginary cities were marked on multiple maps with the same city symbol, we can consider them comparable in size to the ones we know. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learn something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Big Secrets for the Bolshoi Theater to illuminate such a theater, one would have to try very hard. The famous chandelier in the auditorium, weighing 2.5 tons, was equipped with gas horns, and it happened that glass plafonds broke from heat and splinters fell on the heads of spectators. It was installed in 1863. However, the Moscow Gasworks for gas production was opened three years later, only in 1866. If our history were true, there wouldn't be so many silly inconsistencies. Now, the history of any building that is more than 200 years old gives us a lot of surprises. The puzzle for scientists was found in Shelbyville, Illinois, USA. The town was founded in 1827, which is very recent by historical standards. How the town ended up 4 to 5 meters above ground is a mystery. It seems that it was built recently, the sea and oceans are far away, typhoons do not reach the center of the country. There is, however, a lake about a kilometer from the city, but in order for it to reach the city and turn it into a small Atlantis, it will take a whole sea of water to pour into it. 
The excavated structure itself is also impressive, the arched openings, columns, and red brick seem vaguely familiar. In most of the excavated cities, surprisingly, the buildings are built as if from a template. The Classified Census How Millions of Soviet Citizens Disappeared In 1937, a census was conducted in the Soviet Union. After it was completed, it was classified, and those responsible for it were arrested. It was supposed that more than 165 million people lived in the USSR at that time. In fact, it turned out that the population was not more than 162 million people. Where several million Soviet citizens disappeared to remains a mystery. This is a 1675 map by Athanasius Kircher with the telling title, A Geographical Map of the World After the Flood. If not distracted by Atlantis, shown near North America, the map shows the coastal part of the continents that has gone underwater in recent years. The Aral Sea and the Caspian Sea are connected into one body of water. What is worth paying attention to? The map is drawn as if the author witnessed the events, or redrawn from other more ancient maps. What archaeologists are now finding underwater is perfectly overlaid on this map. Ancient inhabitants of the Earth, people giants. Skeletons of people of abnormal height are found in different parts of the world. For example, in the Sahara they found remains 5,000 years old, all of them more than 2 meters tall. Giant fossils were found in Turkey. The human leg bone is 120 centimeters in length. Based on this, the man must have been 5 meters tall. Did the Smithsonian Institute destroy giant remains in the early 20th century? Yes, the Institute admitted that it destroyed thousands of giant human skeletons in the early 1900s. The organization was involved in a major historical cover-up of evidence showing that giant human remains were found all over America. I find it appalling that we are hiding the truth about humanity's ancestors. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.